morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on all our social media platforms. You want to come, it's a Prince Miller Entertainment. Facebook, a Prince Miller Entertainment. We are now available on our Facebook group, which is a Prince Miller Entertainment TV. We are also available on our Twitter handle, it's a P Miller ENT. Welcome to another edition of our daily news on breaking news. Today is the 15th of April 2021. So, guys, yesterday I did report it about uh, uh, Bodagir. So, uh, I did a report about the petition, you know, which I uh, did a report about the petition. I signed this petition. So, I'm just going to read uh, the petition. And the link is, uh, it will be in your uh, comment section. So, to those who want to, you know, uh, support the link or who wants to sign the petition. And it goes, my youth is, and my youth is from 18 to 35 years of age, you know, Bachange Bakunzi, Vaende Ku Bodagezi training center. And it which basically means, Kuti, Kana, Udanda Kuchu Polisa, Soja. If you want to be a civil servant, you need to have a certificate from. Uh, you know, like what used to happen back in the day when there was not that certificate or quantity to apply by even in any government institution. And, uh, so, uh, Tolerant Mutaki is a person uh, who started, uh, who actually published this uh, petition and it got on um, change.org and uh, change.org and uh, the name on the petition is uh, Tolerant Mutaki. They are tangani this uh, petition, you know. And, and uh, I know that I Zimbabwe lawyers for human rights. And yeah, so I'm just gonna read what he wrote underneath that pet uh, petition. Uh, he said uh, the youth and national service program was used before as a political tool by the ruling party ZANU PF and Zimbabwe to fight the opposition parties and their supporters through violence and, and uh, serial um, manslaughter. Clear reference can be taken from the violence of the past elections uh, seasons, like the 2008 election. The green bombers were used by Mugabe, then the president of Zimbabwe, to torture, kill, assault, abduct, and the silence the opposition supporters in a move to try and influence the election results. Most of the recruits of this political tool, disguising as a youth empowerment program, were involuntarily recruited and were then told to be aggressive and heartless. Skills to torture, assault, group rape, and kill victims were taught to these new recruits. They were never given an op option to opt out when they felt like so. Running away wasn't an option either, as there was like a signing of up a, a death a sentence and no further investigations would be done. So we plead with you and the rest of Africa and beyond, especially our African diaspora community, to please help the youth of Zimbabwe by supporting the stopping of this evil program from being reintroduced. The re-emergence of this program will result in serious human rights violations in Zimbabwe for most everyone in Zimbabwe in the hands of the government and the ruling party. The youth will also lose their right to independence choices, not forgetting the fact that the program is meant to violently intimidate voters and influence the election results and to silence any critics, meaning there won't be freedom of expression in Zimbabwe. Thank you for taking your time and on behalf of the Zimbabwean youth, I really want to forward our gratitude. This is what uh, the man is saying here, uh, Tolerant Mutaki is saying, you know what, uh, this whole situation, this whole um, border gaze situation is a tool of ZANU PF and they give us an example of 2008 election. Uh, Piper. 28 was a historic election in a way I could see Pakas to Marira and I still think Marira and Agas it was, but before Marira and Pakamboro one. So uh, let's talk to you guys. Munoz when I say now go to Nugia Nayo Nyaya Pano, here on uh, you know, telling news and breaking news. Uh, if you want to sign the petition, the link will be on your comment section. And uh, but it's already, let's discuss this because it's at and we cannot run away from it. The cabinet really, you know, Pakas we sign into which means what the program at all. Whether we like it or not, program Apple, but people are saying, you know what, we don't want to go. My youth are going to so so, so put that gaze at so that in. At the same time, the government is saying they're going to do things different compared to uh, last time. This was a proposal from the Minister of uh, Youth and Sports and Culture and also um, 
the war veterans, I mean, Minister of Defense and the war veterans, and the Opa Mchinguri Kashiri. So, guys, got it all in the comment section. You know, I'm not gonna say much regarding to the, this war issue because youth again, you know, I'm 418 to 35, so I'm also a youth. So, I couldn't wait to say, how do you feel about this petition? Do you think we're going to have to share with the social media? I'm going to create this whole situation. Can I yeah, there's a real reason behind it and yeah. so at the end of the day I and mean, as my youth uh, always cry about unemployment wada, wada, but don't you think with uh, such initiatives like uh, you know border gaze we actually make my youth think with, uh, i do something instead of doing everything you know what kind of one to one or three months and fans will go on to go in one discipline in the room don't you think with my youth program i got iso and what about my youth and out it's all about you know, at the, at the other side, you know what I mean. So I got it already because you guys, you guys are man. Because at the moment we've seen so many youth acoustic and stuff, malocation, we've seen guys so don't wake up, don't want to sit, don't want to man. We've found them to watch, but now look, sorry. Remember, some of these youth are also talking about Shanda and about Pina Basa and about poor and a pay sleep. I was talking about an American. I can do a point as we go. We need a serious intervention, and uh, I, I think with the minister with the, uh, of sports, which was when this idea, I'm watching a record to do not my youth, you know, they need something. So, I'm about you know what, let me uh, let us reintroduce you know this whole. Uh, youth program but I guess the situation and either but I just don't want to say but uh, I'll keep you guys up to date with the latest regarding to this and either there's an opportunity you know I really don't want to speculate so much regarding to it but I know some of you may agree with some may not agree with yeah let's discuss let's discuss it in the comment section because you know junior what is not affect my youth uh, tomorrow hope you did actually you know uh talked about this petition also he says uh, this petition uh, against the resurrection of the green bombers is the most important order of the day because it affects the youth and with that it affects uh, this country's future take two minutes to, to, to sign it and share this post if you are against violence and the institutionalized of youth into partisan and violent structure do manual i want to hope you the man is saying would you not take your two minutes and sign this petition and share the post and so that my youth are one that wants to share you know the, the more you share the better Use that energy. I met a guy, man, nudes, nema sex tapes and juice. I more share about my what more to open a WhatsApp group. You know, uh, read this petition. But when I saw you, when I saw my youth, I can't say we are going to sign up. No, just when we are going to share as nudes, nema photos, nema pictures. We just go to our as nudes. This is what people are saying. But you need to put more energy. This is the most important order of the day regarding to uh, this petition here. So guys, no need to put at the moment on my streets. People are saying, you know what, we need to sign this. So then other situation uh, that this petition really works in Zimbabwe. Does it really works? Let's talk. Uh, daily news on breaking news on Prince Mill Entertainment TV. I'll keep you up to date with the latest regarding to Nyai Yanida. Turn on the notification bell not to miss any of our new uploads. We upload each and every day. Daily news on breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Bless up.